We've got some folks from the Bay representing out here in D.C. I'm Brandy. Hi, I'm TJ. Denise. Okay. So, uh, what brought you here? Um, I'm here because I used to live in D.C. I was at both of Obama's inaugurations. I helped elect him, and it wasn't. I wanted to be here for Hillary, but it wasn't enough to not protest and be with the Women's March. But mostly, most of my friends who have never been activated before got activated, and I thought, hey, like I got to get out here and I got to be their ambassador. I got to make sure that they're supported both the city and today is my birthday 42nd to Obama's last day and I wanted to be with them happy birthday to you and many more uh, America is facing a critical moment in time just like the rest of the world and science and climate is not something that you know you get to choose to believe in but rather that's the reality of our time this is uh, this year is the third warmest year in a row ever uh, the last three years um, and so we need to begin to really reframe how we're doing um, life on the planet and, and how our economy works. And so I'm encour encouraging uh, President-elect Trump, I guess this is the last day I get to call him that, uh, to seriously move towards the transition from a worldwide economy based on fossil fuels to a worldwide economy based on the rapid implementation of renewable, sustainable, and energy efficient technologies at the speed and scale necessary to make a future for all of our children and all of their children. So that's why I'm here. So um, what are your thoughts on uh, Rick Perry? I think that Rick Perry um, is yet to be seen. In fact, I'm supposed to go to the Texas ball later on tonight and meet him. I think that he uh, uh, put a lot of wind in Texas under his term as governor. So I'm looking, I think that he understands this conversation. and. Um, I'm one of the people that believes in um, that we need to be for something, not against. And therefore, uh, I want to work with the incoming administration to, uh, to do what's smart for the country and for the people. And that starts with the economic vitality of our, uh, of our country and our world uh, based on a, on a renewable energy uh, future. Again, I just came from Abu Dhabi. This is a oil producing country. And these people are absolutely down the road on on all of the renewable sustainable and energy efficient technologies particularly solar and in fact when I was there I listened to the Sheikh of Saudi Arabia the Minister of Energy and the man who ran Saudi Aramco uh, speak on the uh, uh, the need for Saudi Arabia to put in 10 gigawatts of solar by 2023 so even Saudi Arabia who went down to uh, to Abu Dhabi uh, is uh, committing to a low carbon economy. One last question before you have to go in. So what did you think about Obama's like solar energy initiative that he did a couple years ago? What are your thoughts, what were your thoughts on that? Well, I don't know that, I'm not sure what you're referring to except for the fact that the president has uh, come on very strong in the last couple years uh, on his clean energy agenda and um, and it really stood up um, on the Paris Agreement. When I had the opportunity to meet him in Hawaii recently, uh, he was on his way to uh, dedicate the Papa Hanamakokea Marine Sanctuary, uh, building on Bush's legacy and expanding it to 400,000 square miles. But then he went to China and he signed the Paris Peace Accord with uh, Xi Jinping, which is very significant. And uh, these are two countries that comprise half the world's economy and half the world's carbon throughput, just China and the United States. And so um, that was very impressive to me. And um, I think that President Obama leaves a, a very strong legacy that I think he's going to still try to um, move forward. And I look forward to helping him to do that.